Hello, my name is Kevin with Velux, and today I'm going to be talking about the matrix system. Right now, we have a matrix system hooked up, and we've got a picture brightness discoloration. You will see this when A, you have a DVR that doesn't have loop out, or you're hooking up cameras directly to the um, matrix without a DVR involved as well with loops out. The first top two pictures is the pictures you would normally get when your camera has loop out or I mean uh, when your DVR has loop out or the loop out is turned off on a matrix. If you just hook up a camera without turning off a certain dip switches or jumpers you would get this bright washed out picture that we have down here and I'm going to show you both on the U4 and the U2 how to fix this. The U4 would be very similar to a U9 as well. So in order to fix this where we do not have this bright washed out picture like we have down here and have them looking crisp and clear like we do up here, you would need to take out a card and change some dip switches or jumpers. On a U2, I have a U2 right here that we have right now that I will be showing you step by step video on how to do it. On a U4, we've already got a card that we've got a picture of that we removed. And on a U4, the switches are located here. You'll see a green with two red lights. This would be the card that you could remove with the thumb screws. When you remove this, you have this jumper settings right here. You need to be sure they're all in the off position if you have the discoloration of a picture. Most of the time, you're going to have this picture because you're going to be using the loop out. If you're using a Velux DVR, they have loop out. Some other manufacturers, they don't have a loop out or the loop out does not work the way it should. And that's when you'll get these pictures right here. Or you're not using a DVR at all and you're, getting, uh, you're going directly from the camera to the matrix you're going to get these as well or you're wiring off as I said most are where some DVRs don't even have loop outs and you're doing wise you're going to have this so in order to correct this issue as I state you need to pull out this card this is a card from a U4 and you need to be sure all of these dip switches right here are set to off once all the dip switches are set to off you would install the card turn the unit back on and then your picture would be crisp and clear. Here I'm going to show you step by step of a video that we will be producing of showing you how to take a U2 apart, how to pull out the card, and then moving the jumpers for each port to show you how to fix this issue on a U2. Okay, before you do anything on the matrix system, you will need to turn the matrix system off. Once you turn the matrix system off, you've got several cards that are installed into the matrix system. Every set of B and C, every eight, makes actually one video card. So you have a total of eight for one card. At the very end, we've already removed the screws, but you would remove the top two, or two screws at the top and then two screws at the bottom. Then you would remove the BNC connections. And then you would pull on the actual BNC connectors and it will pull out both channels. And this will pull out the card. Now, on this card, you have the different sets. Okay, you have one, two, three, four here, and you have one, two, three, four here. The first one is for this channel, as the first one is for the second one on the second card. You must change all these for the ones that you're having video blurry. So let's say you have a loop out through the DVR, and you also have some cameras that are not using the loop out. So for the units that are not using the loop out, or for the cameras that are not going through the DVR, 
you would change these. So let's say you've got a DVR that the first three are using and the other one is just a camera. So you would actually just remove the first one and change it and that will fix the video. Since this one we've got several cameras that we are testing for other customers and everything right now and we are repairing for different companies right now and everything. Since we are testing them, they're not going through a DVR or anything, we need to change all these jumpers to the what are in the first two positions. So we're going to move all the jumpers so the jumpers are on the first half of the jumpers. So it will look like this. This will actually fix the video issue, so therefore the video is not bright. We also need to do it for the second layer, as I was stating, for the second set of, of BNC connections. As I state, the second four that I'm moving right now is for the card that it's attached to. The upper deck is for the fir first set. And please note, as we see here, every two, which is a set of eight, makes one card. Now you would just slide this card back in. You will feel it snap back into place. You would put the screws in, attach the BNCs together again, and your DVR will start having a bright or will have a better picture, which we will show here pretty soon. Now since we put all the BNC connections back onto the back of the cameras, we do have several cameras still hooked up, so the channels are different now. But as we notice, the bright washed out screens are, not, are all gone. This one is a little blurry, but this is due to that this is a box camera and it is a lens issue. But we do now have bright pictures. They're not all bright and washed out like they were on the other ones. Thank you very much for watching this Velux presentation on how to change the bright washed out pictures on the matrix system on changing dip switches in the switches so therefore you have a perfect picture. Thank you very much and have a nice day.